Hi, my name is Steve Knudsen, and I'm an immunoassay research scientist here at Thermo Fisher Scientific. As many of you know, we have a large portfolio of high-quality primary antibodies extensively validated for multiple applications, including western blotting, immunoprecipitation, and flow cytometry. What you may not know is that many of our antibodies can also be used beyond these basic applications. Last month, we published a paper in POST-1 describing a new method to dual-label an off-the-shelf antibody. In our system, we combine an antibody against a cancer biomarker with both a fluorescent dye and a chemotherapeutic drug to synthesize the fluorescent antibody drug conjugate. Our data shows a potential use for these antibody constructs in tumor imaging and localized drug delivery in animal models. So, I'm here with you today to share the simple but powerful method to dual label an antibody. Let's get started. We first take our antibody and prepare it for conjugation. Using Pierce PES concentrators, we adjust our antibody to roughly 10 mg per mil as well as exchanging into borate buffer at pH 8.5. Next, we prepare a stock of our labels in DMSO. In our study, we use the Dilite NHS ester, but this method will also work with other reactive fluorescent labels, including alexaflor dyes. After adding a small amount of each label to our process antibody from earlier, we let that mix and react for about one hour at room temperature. We then quickly neutralize the reaction in PBS and then remove the unreacted components using Pierce dye removal columns. To remove any remaining impurities, use a Slidealyzer G2 cassette and dialyze the sample in PBS overnight. Afterwards, we can characterize our new bifunctional conjugate to determine concentration and labeling efficiency. Finally, we can test our conjugate to demonstrate localization and drug delivery performance. In our study, we used an induced tumor model in mice to show that the fluorescent ADC effectively inhibited tumor growth compared to control groups. Additionally, we were able to simultaneously visualize the tumors using the fluorescent label. This method is very simple, but quite powerful for advancing research. This protocol can also be used with a variety of antibodies, or even entirely different proteins, and can allow you to utilize these conjugates for both in vitro and in vivo studies. Thanks for watching.